Thanksgiving is this week. Time for cranberry sauce and mashed potatoes and turkey and the post-meal tryptophan induced slumber. Yeah, not quite. Tryptophan is just an amino acid, and your Thanksgiving nap is more likely due to the quantity of food that you ate than this particular molecule. Tryptophan is an amino acid, and amino acids are the building blocks of your proteins. They are small molecules with similar backbones, but different side chains, which can be strung together like beads on a string to create all your different proteins. Alright, so for your amino acid backbone, you've got a nitrogen, then a carbon, then a carbon with some oxygens on it, and that's pretty standard and not what we're worried about today. It's the side chain, or R group, which defines an amino acid. This can be anything from a simple hydrogen to ring structures or to carbon chains. These side chains give amino acids distinct properties like polarities and charges and help define the three-dimensional structure of the proteins they compose. So tryptophan has a crazy mass of a side chain and if you're ever in a biochem class you're gonna have to learn how to draw the structures of the main amino acids and so this is the only time that I ever connect tryptophan and turkey in my head because that's how I learned to draw it was by drawing tryptophan as a turkey. So why does everyone think this thing makes you sleepy on Thanksgiving? Well, it's probably because tryptophan can have a sleep-inducing effect. Tryptophan can be metabolized into serotonin, a neurotransmitter which has a calming effect on your nervous system and helps regulate sleep. When you see an increase in the ratio of tryptophan to other amino acids in your bloodstream, you do see an increase in the production of serotonin. So the myth here is really that turkey contains some massive amount of tryptophan which is going to put you to sleep. But the levels of tryptophan found in turkey meat are pretty similar to the levels of tryptophan found in things like pork and chicken and cheese. So I looked it up and according to one website, the food that actually contains the highest level of tryptophan per serving is sea lion kidney with 2,580 milligrams of tryptophan per every 200 calorie serving. So I guess if our Thanksgiving meal revolved around sea lion kidney, then there might maybe be something to this sleepy myth, but it doesn't. So, no. In Turkey, there's about 300 milligrams of tryptophan in every 100 grams of meat. The dose of tryptophan generally recommended as a sleep aid is about 1.5 grams. So you would have to eat about 500 grams of turkey to reach this, and that's a little over a pound of turkey, and so that's not crazy. But you're not just eating tryptophan when you're ingesting turkey. You're eating all the other amino acids contained in the protein in the turkey, and it's Thanksgiving, so you're also eating lots of carbs and fats and all sorts of other things. So these other foods slow down the absorption of tryptophan into your body. So this amount of tryptophan might make you sleepy if ingested on an empty stomach, but it's Thanksgiving. You do not have an empty stomach. So then what is it about Thanksgiving that makes you want to take a nap? So generally, you've just eaten a meal rich in carbohydrates, and these carbohydrates are actually what boost your serotonin levels and make you want to snooze. The carbohydrates stimulate your pancreas to secrete insulin, which pulls some other amino acids that compete with tryptophan out of your bloodstream. This is what causes an increase in the relative amount of tryptophan in your bloodstream, meaning a greater amount of serotonin is produced, and that gives you that familiar sleepy feeling. Also, it's Thanksgiving. You have just eaten a lot of fat, which takes a lot of energy from your body to digest. Your body redirects some of your blood supply to your digestive system to help with this process, meaning it takes blood away from your central nervous system, which leaves you feeling lethargic. Also, you very possibly had alcohol with your meal, which is a depressant for your central nervous system and adds a whole other level of drowsy on top of it. So there you go. Stop blaming tryptophan and start blaming the fact that you just had to let your belt out to accommodate the amount of food that you just ate. And happy Thanksgiving. Go forth, do science.